because I have got so many things to tell you guys. So make sure to stay tuned for the whole video because there are loads of things which I need to tell you. Some of them are really, well, all of them are really exciting actually. First of all, you guys have probably noticed and are thinking, Mia, where on earth are you? Well, we have moved to a completely brand new country. Um, so if you want to find out where exactly where I am, um, you can head over to Family Fizz. But I have got a new bedroom, so I thought I would be really nice if I could give you guys a little tour of my bedroom because it is so pretty. First things first, as you can probably see in the background, I have this beautiful painting. I haven't actually painted it myself, but since looking at this painting, I really want to try something similar because it's a really interesting, I'm just gonna stand on my bed. I'm pretty sure it looks like it's watercolor and it's of this beautiful blue. I was saying to mom, like what would make this room 100% me is if it was purple, then it would just like literally be the best room I've ever had. Anyways, what's really interesting about it though is I feel like it has glue on it, like it's shiny. And it really looks like a crystal. And then it also has these like little bits, which are like glued to it. It's so interesting. Like, look, this is completely like shiny smooth. And then this is canvas. So that is like the main pop of color in my room. And then I've also got this bed. And I absolutely love this duvet because it's super plain, but then it's got like these little details. So it's like pure white, which I really love having just like a pure white duvet. But then it's like super soft and it's got these little like, it's a little bit boho and it fits in with my bed frame, which is also I feel like quite boho because it's like this wood, which has like been painted white and then like scratched away. So you can kind of see that it's like very rustic. And then I've also got these really pretty lights. Can I, can I show you guys them on? Because these are pretty cool lights, ready? <laughs> so then over here I have this shelf in my room and actually these are some macrame pieces which I've been working on since we've been here. So far I've made two, so this is the first one. I started making it and I had a way better plan for it and then I realized I didn't cut the string long enough, so um, oopsies. And then this was the first piece of macrame which I made here and it was kind of just something simple because I wanted to remind myself of how to do it because I hadn't done it in a few weeks. So yeah, I'm actually happy with how this one came out. I feel like it looks pretty cool. It's quite basic. But the thing is guys, I have no idea where I should hang them up. So please can you go comment on my Instagram, I'm at me life official where I should hang them up in my room or maybe somewhere around the house. Then I have some of my crystals. As you guys know, I really love crystals, which is why I love this painting, because it looks like a crystal. I, I don't, I can't get my head around it. Why does it look like a crystal? It looks so cool. Then I also have this, this is like a drip effect as well, this really pretty blue vase. I do actually really love the color blue, judging by my outfit today. I've got a blue skirt on, and then I also did blue eyeliner to match. So I do really love the color blue, but obviously it, it would be like 10 out of 10 if it was purple, my favorite color of all time. But I guess blue is pretty close to purple. I really appreciate because sometimes when we've lived in houses and there's not a full length mirror, I really like miss not having a full length mirror. And here I have a full length mirror. I actually have two full length mirrors in my room, which are also my wardrobe. So in here I have my wardrobe. So I'm keeping all of my tops hung up over here. And then I also have some of my jumpers. Then I've got my bottoms, which I need hanging up. By the way, funny story about these jeans. These jeans are literally my favorite, like my most favorite jeans ever. When we were moving here, I was like debating possibly getting rid of them because I wasn't sure if there was gonna be room for them in my suitcase. Um, so I, me and mom were talking about it and I said, could you please put them in the maybe pile and then we might give them away to the charity shop. But she didn't quite understand Stand. I'm not sure what happened, but she ended up giving them away and then I had to ask for them back. So yeah, that was um interesting. Anyways, I got them back in the end. It doesn't matter. I'm not I wasn't too bothered about them, but they, they are really nice jeans. And then I also have some of my dresses hanging up. By the way, this is something which I got recently and how cute is it? It's like tie-dye and it's got the Powerpuff Girls on them. I have got to be honest though, guys, I didn't watch the Powerpuff Girls, but I still really like the dress. So is that bad that I got the dress even though I didn't like Powerpuff Girls or like I didn't watch them? Then I have some of my clothes folded up as well. And then I also have some shoes, the cushions. <laughs> then in the other side of my wardrobe is where I keep a lot of my things. So what's been happening since we moved here is I've been trying to keep them nice and tidy and looking aesthetic, but at the same time, sometimes I just kind of put all of my things in here quickly when I've used them. So it just ends up looking really messy. So before filming this, I quickly tidied them up this morning. So this is how I would want them to look in an ideal world. Although sometimes, um, 
I am a little bit of a messy person. <laughs> so I have some of my art supplies up here. Guys, look how beautiful this paint set is. Mia, cause you know how much I love pastel colors. So this paint set is like so amazing. Right, let me show you. This is like pastel green, but what I really like about it is it's like, there's no like proper green in here. This, this one's more like a turquoise, which is like one of my favorite shades of green. There's also this nice pastel blue, pastel, I guess this is orange or red. <laughs> pastel yellow, pastel purple, my favorite color of all, and also pastel pink. So this like paint set is my dreams. These are so gorgeous. The only thing is I would have them like out on my side on display, but the lid isn't pastel. Like imagine if these had like white lids, that would just make them look so aesthetic, but the bright red lid kind of ruins it. <laughs> I just realized I actually have even more pastel art supplies. So these are like, I think these are felt tips. I haven't used them yet, um, but I'm super excited to use them because look at the colors. They are so gorgeous. <laughs> so then on this shelf and this shelf, I have some of my makeup. And then this one, I'm trying to display this really pretty bag. This is like my favorite bag I have ever owned. It's so cute. Cause one, it's pastel and it's pink. And then I love the chain. Like I feel like trains, chain. I feel like trains are really trendy. I feel like chains are really trendy at the moment and I really love some chains. Although I'm not actually wearing one today. I was tempted, but then I decided to go for more of the girly preppy look. When I came out of my room this morning, Sienna said to me, Mia, why do you look so preppy? And I have got to be honest, I have kind of gone for the preppy look. Guys, do I look preppy today? I guess, I think it's a skirt. Then I have some rolls of yarn. <laughs> These are for my macrame, um, but my baby siblings, Karma and Koa, they absolutely love my yarn. They love playing with it and like unraveling the whole thing. It kind of reminds me of, you know, like that stereotype of like kittens love playing with rolls of yarn. They are the same as kittens. They absolutely love playing with it. So um, this one is completely unraveled. So I had to unravel it all back up. So I'm actually gonna move those onto a higher up shelf because otherwise um, Karma covers the whole house in yarn. <laughs> then over here I have my glasses case, which I'm trying to display. I actually don't wear these enough. I need to wear these more. So hopefully them being on display, I find what happens if, if I don't have my accessories like on show, I completely forget to wear them. Then I also have, oh my goodness guys, I need to tell you about this. So since moving here, I've actually made friends with some girls and one of the girls which I met, we decided that when I went around her house, she has these like ring making kits where they, she also has these crystals which have like a hole in so you can like make the ring and like thread the wire through the ring. So we made these really pretty rings. Look how cute they are. Like I really love this one cause it's more like basic. It's like gold and then it's got like a clear, I guess this is quartz crystal. And then this one, I think it's amethyst maybe cause it's like a purple crystal. Most purple crystals are amethyst, am I right? And then it's also rainbow wire. So I, these are so gorgeous. And then we also made these some like clay ceramic so I decided to make like some plates and stuff and what we decided to do with them because it was just Valentine's Day We decided that what we do is we'd package them up all cute in little letters and then give them away to some of the neighbors in the area So um, we actually made a TikTok out of it. So yeah, here is the TikTok So head over to Family Fizz's TikTok because we posted it on there and it was so hilarious and some of the people's reactions. One thing that wasn't actually included in that TikTok though, because it would have been too long, is one of the houses that we dropped it off to, um, the mum was there and we kind of like didn't really think what we were doing. <laughs> but a boy about our age um, lives in that, like that was his house. Um, and his mum got the letter and was like, shh, like asking if we should like, if she should be quiet about it and then give it to her son. Cause like she thought it was like a Valentine's for him, but we weren't really doing it in that way. We were more just trying to like make people smile, not give like Valentine's in that way. <laughs> Do you know what I mean guys? Anyway, so yeah, that was pretty um, hilarious. Welcome to Reading With Mia. Make sure to get into your comfiest PJs because today we're gonna to be reading an exclusive never heard before excerpt, ex, excerpt. Guys, I'm really sorry, but I literally cannot say that word. This, this word, excerpt. We are gonna be reading an exclusive excerpt from Mia's Life Fan Takeover, which is my book coming out April this year. And this has never been heard. So yes, you heard that right, dear Mia Korn. You are gonna be one of the first people ever to hear the beginning of the book. So, are you ready? You in your comfy PJs? Good. Mia's Life Fan Takeover, one. Hey Mia Korns, welcome back to Mia's Life. 
I said those words to begin every YouTube video on my channel, but they never got old. As you can see today, I'm barefaced and I'm going to show you the new toner that's been so incredible for my skin. I explained to the camera holding up a hot pink bottle. When I was making videos, it was easy to forget that more than 1 million people subscribed to my channel. Instead, it felt like it was just me playing with makeup and talking about things I love. That's really how Mia's life started. I'd always loved sharing about my life, but now I had a pretty popular YouTube channel. Okay, more like super popular. My videos weren't just seen by my family, but by people all over the world. It was my very own show where I could show my life and talk about things average girls go through, like acne. Ugh. I was just about to tell my viewers, aka the Miacorns, why B3 vitamins are so important for your skincare routine when my phone buzzed with a reminder. Find Sienna's B-Day present, ASAP. I groaned, leaning over and flicking off the camera. Toner and foundation would have to wait. My little sister, Sienna, was going to be nine years old in just five days, and I still didn't have a gift for her. I took out my favorite journal and tapped my pencil, trying to get my creative juices flowing. Staring through the huge window in my room overlooking the backyard usually helped me get imaginative. And that is all you're going to be hearing right now, but I've actually got a link for you guys. If you want to hear even more, head over to this link or you can click the link in the description and you get to read the first two chapters of the book, which I must say so myself is pretty awesome. You guys are going to be the first people to ever read it. I'm so excited because this story is so hilarious. As you guys know already from the beginning, I'm trying to find Sienna's birthday present, which is definitely a struggle, but on my search of finding Sienna's birthday present, I end up getting out of my comfort zone big time and I also embarrass myself in front of a cute boy, so um, it's a good story. <laughs> so the next announcement I've got for you guys is that me and Sienna are now officially skater girls, as you can see. Um, I have learned I can almost do like a proper ollie, so I technically get both my wheels off the ground, but it's like that high off the ground. Still, I've already been practicing it for a few days, and I'm actually doing it already. I'm very, very proud of myself, I must say. And I've actually done a proper drop-in once, by myself over on this big ramp over there. It's terrifying though. The last time I did it was like four days ago. That was the first and the last time. And I need to force myself to do it again because ever since then, I've been too terrified. Oh yeah, Mia Claus, I always forgot to tell you, you can also get Mia's Life Fan Takeover now from the link in the description or from Amazon. I just want to ow, 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 plug in there. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do something terrifying really out of my comfort zone. And right, I need to practice to get my head in the game first. So first things first, I'm going to try a drop in on that little ramp over there. Ready? gotta get over my fears here so I'm gonna do it for you guys I'm gonna do it for the Mia Corns all it is is very simple is I just have to do that same thing but off there and I just have to slam the board really hard get it down the go first go get out uh, okay go Woo! you did it you did it you did it oh my god I'm scared it's right. so hard first things first I'm gonna practice falling My knee pad wasn't on properly. Oh. I'm really scared, like I'm not joking, like I'm really scared. Okay, just that. Oh, it's so scary. Right, I will do it. Okay, five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! I did make it. Wow. I did it. I did it! Oh my gosh, I feel like I was so scared. I feel like I might throw up. Like, I'm not gonna throw up, but like, I felt so scared. Right, I need to do it again. I need to do it again while I'm on the roll. Ready? Didn't do it hard enough. Something about it is so terrifying, and I don't know what it is, but it's really terrifying. I kind of did it. So there you go, Miracles. That's an update on my drop-in. But maybe I'll show you guys my ollie as well now. Because <laughs> that's slightly less terrifying. <laughs> so if you don't know what an ollie is, it's basically where you do a jump with the board. Well, that's what it looks like. But you have to push your foot down on the nose and then sl slide the other foot up. And it's really tricky, but some people, like I've seen people at the skate park where they literally can do it so high and it's so amazing. And I'm still in the process of learning it. So what I've been doing to help myself practice is I've been holding onto this um, rail here, which is part of the skate park, 
and then doing it and that actually really helped me because then I can just like get myself used to doing the action I'm jumping and obviously I'm not falling over and then I've also moved on to doing it without a rail but doing it on like mud or grass sorry I'm out of breath <laughs> because if you do it on concrete what can happen is you try and do it and then the skateboard slides out from underneath you and then you fall over and um I mean I don't mind falling over so that's something which I've gained since skateboarding is I actually am not that bothered like obviously I was very scared to do the drop in but I don't really know why because I could easily like just jump down there and fall over and I'd be fine. It's just something about the drop in like leaning forward is quite scary. <laughs> Anyways, right, I'll show you my update on an ollie. It's easiest. My ollie isn't something which you can see with like your eyes. You have to see in slow motion and then you can see that my board, both wheels are actually coming off the floor. So here's slow motion video of me doing an ollie. I still need more practice, but I'm pretty impressed with myself that I actually managed to get both wheels off the ground, technically. Um, Mia Kunz, I think it's time for a bit of an update because something has happened. As you can see why I'm holding my hand like this. So I had my dinner and then I met up with my friend and we started skateboarding and I tried to do it. I don't even know if I've told you how this happened, mum. I tried to yeah. do a drop in again, but I was really scared because I'm still Aww. like trying to get over my fears. Yeah. So I said to my friend, can I hold one of your hands? Yeah. That was the mistake. So when you try and hold someone's hand when you do Sorry. that. Talk about holding hands, I can't just try to let go of my hands. <laughs> We're currently at the beach by the way, Mia Kors. Look how beautiful it is. We're trying to watch the sunset. Sorry Mia, Darren's got Yeah, so I was holding her hand and because I was holding her hand because I was too scared to do it myself, um, she ended up pulling me back by accident like it's really tricky because obviously Ooh. she has to like run with me so then I ended up falling backwards and show the Miracorn for how my arm was she literally went like that and it was a no problem. one arm was back oh she literally went like yeah. that no my arm was bent oh I wish I could show you like that yeah like that and I fell back on it I fell backwards and she onto it literally she went straight back fast onto it like as well, well. moving fast fast and, and hard back. Should we, we go through the wall? Yeah. Do you want to go Turn up here? Yeah. And she hit her arm. As you can see, my wrist is a bit bruised. It's not too bad. It just hurts if I really, if I like try and move it loads. So that's why I'm resting on my shoulder because I want it to heal nicely. So I don't want to like keep moving it and trying to like hold up fingers and stuff like that because I feel like it's best for it to heal just for me to leave it. Um, to be honest, this is definitely got to be like my first proper injury from skateboarding and I'm actually kind of surprised it didn't happen sooner and mum asked me do I feel put off skateboarding now and to be honest I was expecting this like when it happened I was like in a weird way kind of satisfied it means that I'm trying new things in skateboarding which I'm kind of glad about ah I just got soaking wet I couldn't change out my clothes I just went to the beach in my normal clothes because I didn't want to change it's painful from the beach I absolutely love going to the beach so much guys that like, I really want to do it really regularly while we're here like I'd love to do it every day since the beach is quite close to us actually something another thing I really want to do while we're here is I met a girl and she said that she does surfing that like, she's really good at surfing so she actually says that she can give me surf lessons which sounds amazing so um, I can not only be a skater girl I can be a surfer girl and I've never tried surfing before but it sounds really fun it's like especially today after getting hurt at the skate park obviously skating is kind of like you're on a board I know it's like wheels and it's different to surfing but at the same time you're still like on a board and you have to balance and stuff um, except with skateboarding you fall onto hard concrete <laughs> and with surfing you fall into the sea where it can like suck you under so both of them have like their slightly scary parts to them I guess but yeah I definitely really love to try surfing I'm really excited to do that Sienna as well she really wants to try surfing by the way Mia Kwanza make sure to stay tuned on my channel because I have come up with so many amazing video ideas not just for my YouTube but also for my TikTok and my Instagram so make sure you're following me over on there I'm at Mia's Life Official and at Mia's Life Official on both TikTok and Instagram except TikTok with one 
F, so that's annoying. Anyways, guys, if you know anything, make sure to click subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.